All right. Um, you guys are about to witness the most busted deck I have ever come across in standard on MTG Arena. This thing is is just if the word toxic could apply to something right now, this would be it. This deck's toxic. And the reason it's toxic is because it is nearly impossible to beat. I played only four matches. These are the first four matches in order. One, two, three, four with this deck, with this build. And the person who piloted it at the Grand Prix in Denver, his name is Lewis Scott Vargas. Sir, glasses off to you because there's nothing like this. I have not seen anything like this since the Nexus of Fate build that really just wrecked standard for a while and upset everybody. You're going to see some crazy stuff in this build. Um in the gameplay and it doesn't matter if you're not that great at piloting a deck or not you're gonna you're gonna see a few misplays first time using this deck and it's still still i annihilate my opponent and there ain't nothing they can do about it let's go over the deck and tell you exactly how it works real quick so we got arboreal grazer obviously he's um he or she who knows uh, to help you drop more lands. This deck's all about getting lands onto the battlefield and then uh, creating zombie tokens from it. It's, it's ridiculous. Growth Spiral for the card draw and the extra land drop and the ramp, you know. Prison Realm in case you got to deal with something pesky. And it actually does come in handy sometimes. Uh, just two of. And you get to this card more times than not because you go through your deck, look at these split. Uh, Elvish Rejuvenator, again, for the extra land drops. Uh, and it allows you to basically pick certain cards. Hopefully, you come across, and we'll go over this card in a second, you come across a field of dead when you, uh, you play your Elvish Rejuvenator. The more fields of the dead you can get onto the battlefield, the more you're going to devastate the competition. Two grow from the ashes, because again, two basic lands, you want to get land drops in this deck. Tefiri, just for shenanigans, man, just to bounce stuff, uh, kick it back to their hand, slow your opponent down. Even one time I used uh, his plus one so I can flash in uh, my scape shift over here, you know, and just catch my opponent off guard. Four of those. Four is a cuteous route. Um, this is just so you can get more lands and drop them on the battlefield. That simple. Scape shift, again, so you can sacrifice lands and get more lands onto the battlefield. Um, when you can just sacrifice four, um, search your library for up to that many, sacrifice any number of lands, we can do any. Usually I, I did four every time, it was weird, just four is my magic number. Um, but you can search for that many lands and put them onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle your library. Redunculus, Hydroid Crasis, um, great card for, for the card draw, huge, huge, uh, beast in this deck, because when he hits, you get a lot of lands you get to draw. Because odds are we're going to be able to pump them up really big, at least 6-7 by the time you use them, you know. Paying 9, make them a 7-7. Seven, seven. He just comes out swinging Pound Town abilities. Um, but that Flying Trample, it's, it's really good. If he gets destroyed, it don't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Because we have so much card draw, we can drop more lands. Um, we have to use a variety of lands in this build. So we got one Plains, some Islands. A Memorial to Genius is really great because you can sack it, draw some cards. I actually did that in this one. Two of the Forest, Zorius Guildgate, Hallowed Fountain. You just want a nice blend of different lands in this deck. Two Temple Gardens, some Breeding Pools. But also you got to have those things. You, know, you pay the two life and you don't come out. We went up against every kind of deck there is. from like Not every kind of deck, but Mono Red. Um, just uh, We destroyed Mono Red. I was, you're going to see my, like the expressions I make in this video, like I'm blown away because this is my first time piloting it, made some mistakes, still kick some butt, doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you're a novice or a pro, this deck is so simple to use and just wins, something's got to be banned and it's probably going to be Field of the Dead, so where does this all come together, a Blast Zones for fun little tricks, you know, and just taking out um, your opponent's creatures if they're big or not. Um, or whatever the case may be, permanence. Field of Ruin, another card where you can sack this to get another land to drop. But here's where the whole deck comes together. Field of Ruin. If there's going to be an emergency banning on a card, it's going to be this one. And the reason being, in Grand Prix Denver, which was over the weekend, this deck placed number one. Number two was Nex Nexus Reclamation. After that was Bant Scape Shift again. That's two. In fourth place, roughly fourth, came Bant Scapeshift. And in fifth place, came Bant Scapeshift yet again. 
four. Four banned scapeshift builds in the top eight. There's going to be an emergency ban for sure. Sideboard, let's take a look. A Johnny's Welcome, I guess if you're really up against some heat from uh, your uh, mono red players and whatnot, this would easily shut them down, sideboard it in. Mono red, we'll see you. Uh, Summer, great card for uh, Demir. We went up against a Demir deck. I thought that was going to be my first loss. Mm. Davin's Veto for them counter spells. Deputy of Detention, you know, just to lock up certain cards, you know, if they're really being pesky. Crucible of Worlds, if your opponents are destroying your lands, I guess, you can play land cards from your graveyard, or if we need to ditch them, whatever the case may be. Uh, that would just make things even crazier with Scape Shift, but it's in the sideboard. Two Ixalan's Binding to shut them down, and Ripjaw Raptor, maybe for some more card draw and just for another board presence. But man, guys, I've never seen nothing like this before. If you're not subscribed to this channel, by all means, go ahead. I like to bring broken decks and infinite combos and all that fun stuff uh, that Magic's all about. But this deck, I don't think this deck is that fun, and something has to be banned. And uh, you're about to see why. Enjoy. Uh, that's a no for me, Bill. That's a yes. Um, kind of crappy. We don't have much ramp here. <clears throat> I got a dish crisis, unfortunately. We have it. We got to go Hinterland Harbor so we can get uh, Arboreal Grazer out. Don't forget, wear your sunglasses at night so you can see again. Up against Leewee. Ooh, Simic Guildgate. Nasty sauce. This guy. Followed by this guy. He could destroy it, but it wouldn't matter. And he hits us. He knows what we're doing. Alright, we're going to smack that down now. Time Raveler up in here. Was it Pyromancer? Ooh, Blossoming Sands. What to do, what to do. I guess we go with Teferi. Let's just slow him down. We'll just plus one him. No chance of my returning that. Might be a bad idea. We can smack that down. Gain one life. Can't attack with our Grazer, but we can chump block on Mono Red, which is always a plus. Come on, Pyro, what you doing, bro? Oh, that is that is dirty. Dirty play, my friend. We can't chump block because we'll lose our grazer. Gotta keep him around for something. Field of the dead. I guess we want to run a Circadius Root. We'll grab you. That's all we can grab. And no more blue. How about another green? Yeah, we'll go with green. Alright, that's a lot of lands right there. Field of the dead plays in. Got our token. This is how it's supposed to go. This is how it's supposed to go. We're going to keep that pumping. No attacks. This card's so good. I mean, I underestimated it. But really, it's it's uh, it's pretty good. Whenever a feel, uh, feel the dead or another land enters the battle under your control, if you control seven or more lands, with, uh, I should have done that before Circadius Route. So that was obviously a misplay, because we could have had a bunch of these uh, zombies. I am learning the deck, my friends. Learning the deck. He is going for blood. Is his 3-3 going to hit my Tefri? Yep. And then 4 damage to us. But we got a lot of chump blocks coming out with Grown from the Ashes. Need some draw. If we get some draw, I think we're doing pretty good, brah. Hydroid Crisis comes into play. Oof. Yeah. And it's life gain. Another Field of the Dead. That is gross. We get token, token. Definitely chumps up uh, Mono Red's strategy. Let's go on Chandra. Great card for draw. Making mistakes is okay. Everyone makes mistakes, but when I can capture it on a cam on the camera, um, I mean, it shows you guys, you know, what to do, what not to do. I think we're gonna take this out of Prison Realm, so I don't mind showing mistakes and misplays and whatnot. I'm gonna pay the two. We're gonna get crazy. That gives us, oh wow, so busted. I didn't realize how crazy that would be. All right, and then we'll pay five here with the kicker. 
Bank and bunk. Wow, is that ridiculous. This is why this is busted and it won everything. This is why you're looking at it right now. This is my absolute first time using this deck. Unbelievable. I know they're crisis on top for sure for life gain. You bet you. We will swing in. I mean, we can chump lock the crap out of this guy. I'm just going to swing in with everything that we can. Busted deck, man. First time ever using this deck. Hats off to the gentleman who made it. But for this to top eight four in four spots, something's going to get banned here. Is it going to be Field of Ruin? <laughs> Field of Broken? I bet he wishes he could do that twice. <laughs> and then our Krasis is going to hit and just destroy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's game. Get ready for Scoop. And this is Mono Red, which is very aggressive. He's playing it correct. He's doing everything good. But just not good enough, my friend. Not good enough. Whoops. Cancel that. We got to go with uh, nine. It's not even that he's not playing good. He's playing He's playing perfect. But. Oh, my gosh. That is stupid. Um, this deck just, it just trumps it, man. I mean, yeah, we can attack with everything. Why not? Here, block that, dude. He's going to kill off two of them, but, I mean, we just have an army of zombies coming at him. Where's Liliana when you need her? Holy smokes. That is disgusting. This deck is busted. Holy smokes, man. I did not expect that. All right, looking a little sluggish. It's all right. I say that more times than not. I guess we just play whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not going to get the trigger off a of field of the dead until we have seven or more different lands. But with this and this out, I mean, you better watch out, brothers. You better watch out. And then next turn will be field of the dead. Unless we draw a different land. Nope, did not draw it. Ooh, it comes in tapped? I was unaware. Okay. All right. Fresh play in this. Learn with me, guys. Learn with me. This kind of stinks. Um, Elvis Rejuvenator Slick. I'm going to save that. We'll put that in the back burner. Same with Scape Shift times two. Scape Shift's ridiculous. Um, I guess we go with Elvis Rejuvenator. Blast Zone's fun. We can drop. Do we have any blue? Yes, we do. Let's, let's just drop Blast Zone, though. And then Hinterland Harbor. Wow. He goes Guild Summit. So we got a gate deck. That's going to annihilate our zombies. For real. Yikes. Circuitous Root will uh, we'll take care of things. Yeah, we can go with this. Paying the kicker. Um, no island, and we have no planes out. There you go. Now the fun begins. Odds are he's going to board wipe us with this. But we have a never-ending slew. Slew? A never-ending army of just of this master zombie tokens that's coming at him. God, I underestimated the power of this card. Feel of the Dead is, 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 is it's busted. I mean, in the right build. Oh, my God. Phenomenal. There it is. Gates of Blaze. It's fine. We don't even care, bro. Every day you're going to have to do something. Every day you're gonna have to do something. All right, I think we go. Go with the cutest route. The it's a cutest route. And we can grab up this, grab up that. Feel the dead. Wish we had another feel the dead that hit. Let's get to Fury out, and we can just get rid of this guild summit. So he's gonna card draw. We'll see ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
Imagine having like a zombie lord just for the fun of it. Throwing a zombie lord in this deck. I don't mean you probably couldn't because the colors don't match up, but wow. Oh man. Alright, I I'm declaring now one of these cards is gonna be banned in standard. I don't know what. It's not gonna be Tefiri. It's probably gonna be something like Scape Shift, maybe? Something. No, I am not making this up as I go. No, I am not making this up as I go. This is stupid. Let's do Escape Shift right now. Sacrifice any number of lands. Sure. Oh, no, no, we don't want to do that. Not that one. I should have tapped that up because we just... Yeah, that stinks. All right, so we got that, that, this, and that. Is that four? Yep. And then we just grab these. Going for both Field of the Ruins. Oh my gosh, that's so busted. <sighs> Holy All right, just in case we're going to need something more. <laughs> um, we're going to chill in case he board wipes us again. This is a, and you know what the crazy thing is? This is a very easy deck to use. This deck is not that difficult to use. We don't need, okay, we're just going to pass the turn because we don't need Elvish Rejuvenator out right now. We can just wait. If he board wipes us again, then we have a huge advantage. Not advantage, but when we come out, you know, I, I mean, what are the odds of him getting three of these in the first six turns, five turns of play? I mean, not that great, so. If he's got one more, that's phenomenal. Gates of Blades would wreck us. But if he doesn't have it, I mean, that's just overkill. Is it checkout time? It, Russo, is it checkout time? No, no offense. I mean, he's playing his gate deck, but this thing is overwhelming, man. you got to have a lot of board wipes to deal with this. I don't know how else you deal with this. Is there a card that just mercs all zombies? I don't know. Ooh, he's going to definitely use that ram. He's going to try to, but we can easily block it. Tefiri can... Well, we don't want to bounce the angel. Now, this is where I will scape shift after his main, after his turn. We'll scape right now. We're going to get rid of you and you... And you, and you. Holy smokes. Yeah, he's like, no. Oh, man. <laughs> I've never seen a deck this busted. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens here. Looks like we're up against uh, vampires, which is pretty cool. I guess we go with Hinterland Harbor. And then Plains. Too bad we couldn't do anything with Growth Spiral this turn. Well, we, maybe. Oh, there it is. Okay. We can definitely go this route. And Growth Spiral. He's got Pride, mate. Alright, so some kind of life game build. What I find just um, incredible is how quickly we are able to drop more lands. Like, I think that is just phenomenal. The, the rapid succession of, of land drops in this deck is just outrageous. I mean, and after this, we got the Field of Ruin. I mean, as long as you get a Field of Ruin, at least one, it's showtime. History of Benalia. I don't think this guy has any idea what's about to happen to him. Tefri's legit. Let's go with the root. Grab you, grab you. 
get some triggers. No other additional land in play right now. Well, not yet. I mean, I don't think it's going to matter. We can use this for a chump block. So we'll drop him just for chump block purposes. No attack. Within two turns, we're just going to flood our opponent with zombies again. Wow. For me to be blown away by this deck, there's, there's something about it. It's just, it's too much. Something's getting banned. You heard it here first. Something's getting banned. There's just no way. You can't allow this kind of stuff to happen. Uh, we can kick this. I mean, might as well. And smack these two down while we can. And then go at the root. Only got one we can grab up, though. Kind of shapoopy. Didn't realize that. Put some pressure on him. He's taking it. Alright, he's got his knights out. We can chump block. Where's that Hydroid Crisis when you need him? Definitely gonna need uh, Teferi. Teferi can just bounce these guys. Ooh, that's big. That is big. Can he come through with this? Ooh, down to 15. A Johnny gaining. A Johnny. Oh, I want to actually take out a Johnny. Where's the other guy? Yeah, you. We're going to flip mode. You go over here. Oh, I didn't have two on that guy? That should. Oh, I think I did. Maybe. I don't know. All right, we're good. So a Johnny's gone. Wow. Ask you shall receive, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go big or go home. Hello, replenishing. Oh man, another field of ruin? That's just, it's not fair. It's just not fair. We're gonna go actually have some fun. We're gonna go after this dude. That life gain's brutal. All right, took him out. And we have the 4-3. Meow. Growth Spiral, Growth Spiral, Tafiri. There's just so... And he drops Pride Mate. Braskas are crisis. Well played, my friend. I mean, I don't really care. I just don't want to take damage. Shapeshift, you nasty girl. You can always bounce this thing back out. Not yet. I should probably get Teferi rolling here and bounce his pride mid punch. Too bad we can't do that. Goodbye. Breeding pool hits. Actually, oh, I want to go back. Can I go back? Cannot go back. All right, we'll have the enter tapped. That's okay. And then we can go grow spiral. No card in hand right now. Field of dead. What a great draw for that. Let's just get our zombies out and just massacre her. Probably escape. I think a lot of people are just blown away by this deck and they're just like intrigued like what the heck is this guy doing so they stick around oh man not fun not fun my friends <laughs> hope you have an answer for that oh man I don't blame him I don't blame him. This deck is busted. This deck is busted, guys. All right. This is my fourth straight match with this deck. And, um, yeah, we haven't lost once yet. 
they're just this is this is ridiculous. We're gonna go temple, pay the two life, use this bad boy. Drop this guy. Gain that one life. Pink at nineteen. We got scape shifts, route, spiral, realm. Ooh, don't really care for that. Uh we gotta go with growth spiral. We got no, no other play right now. Cool, we at least got a hallowed fountain. We can have that enter tapped. And then uh just pass the turn. Thought error sure. Uh what would he take? It'd be funny if he took prison realm. I would take scape shift personally if I was him. Yep, okay, so he he may have played this deck before. Temple Gearden. Paying the life. Root. What do we got? 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 Nothing too gravy, baby. Alright, we play those two. It really doesn't matter. I'm just picking up anything. It don't even matter. Good liquor. Okay. Blast zone. Not exactly what I was hoping for. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we go five. Get the card draw. Field of ruin. Not what we wanted either. No attacks. Good thing we at least have a uh, elvish rejuvenator. Just to thin the deck a little bit. None of our zombie uh, cards are out yet. That could be scare. E. Opt. Pays it. Thought I were sure. Uh, he sh better take the Rejuvenator, otherwise he's in trouble. Okay, he did not. I mean, just for just for fun. No. Nah. Let's just kill him. I don't even care about having Krasis out anymore. Rejuvenator. Alright, we got Field of Ruin. Let's see what we could do with Rejuvenator. Nothing crazy. Alright, Memorial's alright. Drop another one of these. Field. Okay, finally, Field of the Dead shows up. Hooray. Now we drop Field of Ruin. Swing in. With nothing. <laughs> uh, we can do this. For another land card. And we can take out this guy. Submit it. Do I have two to pay? Oh, I don't have two to pay. Ah, brutal. Brutal, brutal. And the turn. Can I give it oops? Oops. Oops. Oops, sorry, Bri. Didn't mean to lose that one. Thought ever show, doing great, drawing a card. Hope you do really good, man. If Bri's over there, ask him how his book's coming. Really big novel, doing really good. Ooh, temple, okay. Temple something. Alright, we'll put that on top just for card draw. We can use Field of Ruin finally. Sacrifice it, take this out. And he's doing a whole lot, but we are getting another zombie token out of it. Whatever. Okay, and now we can sack this, draw two cards. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Ooh, nothing big there though, huh? Alright. We're gonna swing in with these bad boys. Ink! Down to 13. Hope you have an answer. I'd like to see... I want to see someone beat this deck. I'm only going to play it. This is the last match. I'm only going to play it the four matches. I want to see what happens. If we lose, we lose. We win, we win. All right, he's returning this big bad wolf to his hand. We're just going to bounce it with Tefiri. Because decks are broken around here. Ooh, that's massive, though. Ooh, I hope I lose. Nice. I'll give him that. Nice. Nice. But if I bounce that, he's just going to devastate us again. So I really can't bounce him. Hinterland comes into play.
We don't have enough to get there. That's a lot. That's seven. Ooh, that would be, that would finish us off. Is it haste? Oh, it's got haste? Does it always have haste? Okay, only because of that. All right, so we gotta go to Fury. We gotta bounce him. Get off me. Oh, wow, that's cool. All right, so he's forever gonna be bounced. Might get this one, boys and girls. Um, I don't really see a point in feeding this. I mean, I guess we could. Fed it once. Could have done twice. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter with this deck. Doesn't matter. You can be the crappiest pilot on the planet. What's this guy doing? Return for two target instant source recruiter. Okay. What's he got in, in the graveyard? Nothing crazy. Oh my gosh, feel the dead. I mean, I, I'm gonna say that's that's the whole kit and caboodle here, my friend. Let's plus this. I think it's almost lethal. Really close. Now I could have dropped. I honestly could have dropped to Fury and bounced this, and we could have we could have won that one. This is that's a fact. That's a fact. We could have done that. But it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Never seen a deck like this before. <laughs> um, the closest one was Nexus. Um, there was a Nexus deck when it first came out, where it was just absolutely broken. But this thing takes the cake. With the endless turns and the loops and everything. Really, really neat. We could pump this up some. I mean, that's... We'll see, I mean. You can board wipe me, if you could. Maybe. Ritual of Soot? Anything? Bond? Slaps that. Okay. Good, good game, man. Good game, Mar Marulis. This deck is busted, man. Hopefully something gets banned because that's like just four straight, four in a row, just, just annihilating. And it, it ranked number one, and it appeared three other times on the top eight in the, the most recent Grand Prix. Get hip, guys, and watch out for this deck. It's stupid. I don't blame anyone, man, for uh, for not liking it. <laughs> Most busted deck I've ever seen on Arena. Absolutely busted. Let me know your guys' thoughts. What card do you think should be banned from this deck? Um, I'll show you one more time the deck. But what card do you think should be banned? Ban Scape Shift. This is the list. Um, something's got to be banned. I mean, if anything, you would think uh, the Field of Dead would probably be the one to go. Because if Field of Dead is gone, this deck is garbage. I mean, it, plain and simple, this deck is trash without Field of the Dead. I never thought it'd be that impactful. Great, great build. Hats off to the gentleman who made it. Leave a like. Give it a share. Because people need to see this. This is stupid. Skadoosh.